Happy middle of the winter. I really could use Ben today because we're starting video day 12 and only 10 fingers. So you're going to have to imagine Ben standing here. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. Day 12 uh, of build your own timber frame. Uh, so it's winter. You've probably figured that out. We're not by the North Shore. It's not beautiful summer when the weddings are happening here at the gardens, but it's time to get into the next phase of what we're going to be doing on the timber frame. And that is going to be milling up all of the white pine logs that have accumulated over in the log yard. So what we're gonna be doing is adding another rafter to each end. Plus I'm gonna add three rakes on each side of the, the <clears throat> roof to hold that rafter up. And then one big fascia board all the way on each side. So that's all gonna be milled um, three by five to match the rafters that are there. And then I'm gonna be cutting uh, the rest of the white pine to one inch slabs, planks, just to do the whole ceiling decking on there. So day 12, the video day 12 is actually gonna be probably this whole week. Uh, Cause I just don't have the time chunked up with all my other projects going on here um, to get after the milling in there. So I've already got my cut sheet, what I need to get uh, all the measurements for that. We're gonna head over there. I've got two more cuts on an ash log that are still on the saw horses. Uh, if you want to see what it takes to get ready to mill for the first time in a season, I'm going to throw a card up there uh, to the milling uh, first slab of the sea year of the season. The other thing that you want to do, if this is the first time that you've seen one of the day uh, in the build your own timber frame uh, series, so we're on day 12, that means there's day 1 through 11. I'm gonna put a playlist up there. I'll put that playlist in the description below and I'll probably put it at the end of the video. Anyways, lots to do in this video, but we're gonna mill some wood. So first, let's head over to the log yard. finished uh, getting that ash log cleaned up and we can get into this. Um, I know I've got one more white pine log right in the pile down there so I don't have to dig it out and we still have that uh, log out in the woods out there that we need to get. That's going to be almost 20 feet and I think we're going to be able to get two 20 footers out of it for the fascia to go all the way across or at least that's what I'm going to go with right now because I don't want to have to put a scarf joint or anything in there. I just want one clean 20 footer for the fascia. So here is our pile of white pine all nice covered in snow. There's a couple nice bigger ones down there that we should get a lot of the nice planking out of. I think what I'm going to do and, and make it somewhat easy is this top one right here um, nine feet plus gets me into this range right into here and i think i'm going to start with that one and try to get the four rafters out of that one so four three by fives out of that one uh, plank out the rest of it all right let's do that
It wasn't a full full day out here in the log yard working on the white pine. Uh, but it was a good day. I was hoping to get four of the three by fives, the rafter pieces for the end uh, out of that one log and long story short is I didn't. I got three out of them, but man, they just look awesome. Just beautiful. Um, are they perfectly square? I'm not going to put a square to them. They're square enough for me. They're actually pretty close, but uh, they just look fabulous. So tomorrow I've got it on the schedule to be out here. So we'll pick up tomorrow when there's a little bit more daylight and uh, we'll see what happens. I think we're just going to pound. I'm going to have a, another person come over, a friend, uh, and help do uh, some milling. He's like, hey, I want to mill. I want to mill. I'm like, yeah, come on. I think next Thursday. So I got it set up with uh, Rory's coming out tomorrow. And hopefully we can just power through a whole bunch of the one by decking. Uh, upside is we ended up with a piece of one by right there. So it's going to look pretty sweet. All right, we're going to clean this up uh, and head home. That's it. Mwah! Day two of day 12 is underway. We actually have a guest in today helping out. That's Rory. Say hi, Rory. Hi, Rory. Hi, Rory. Hi, Rory. Hi, Rory. Ah. <laughs> well, you get to do a wrap. Okay. Okay. Uh, we started in kind of fun. He wanted to learn a little bit about chainsaw milling, so he came out and we, it was nice to have an extra set of hands today. Those right there, those are the ceiling decking pieces that will go up there. They're six inches wide and an inch deep. So roughly 18 square feet of the 360 that we need. So when you go to your big box store and a piece of wood is $2, don't complain about it. You can still tell your wives if you want to save money by milling your own lumber, you can get a bigger chainsaw because you're going to save money. All right, we're going to go take lunch and then we're going to come back and do a little bit more.
right, we are gonna call it a day or day two of day 12 <laughs> on that. All right, looks like we, a rough estimate is 60 board feet because it's an inch, so 60 feet of our 320, but we'll hedge on that. We're gonna go for 350 uh, for the rafter, to cover the rafters up on top. This completes, that is it. Thanks to Rory Woo, for all your help. Yay. And now I gotta go get cultured, so. It's opera night, yay. Actually it is yay, but there we go. Tomorrow, no, a couple more days, something like that. Carry on. I don't have enough digits because I'm holding on to the camera, but it's day three of day 12 of the build your own timber frame. Well, we're well on our way into milling all of the material that we needed for the top of the timber frame. So we're using one by decking. I'm calling it decking planks, one by sixes that are going to go on the ceiling all the way up adding two rafters on each side so a pair of rafters so first day we got the some three by fives milled thought we'd get a little bit more done or another one out of there but first time milling dimensional lumbers so i have one more of those to cut uh got a really nice start in on the one by itself so this is just shy of a hundred and uh, 50 square feet. You could call it board feet because it is an inch thick. Um, you also saw me like trying to squeeze every single little board out of that. The rafters when it's done, it's gonna be 20 feet across. So these are running at about eight feet down here. So I'm still gonna need some four foot pieces or two foot pieces because the rafters are two foot off center. So. These small little pieces, yes, they will come in very, very handy as we um, kind of put the decking on the ceiling. All right, uh, the other thing is, if you saw when Rory was here, I had that big six inch slab up in the air and it was a little wobbly. Worked out fine when we had two people here, but when I got here this morning, I created my little new first accessory for the sawhorses that I am naming, I won't trademark it, but naming um, a saddle dog. So plan off the sawhorse, giddy up little horses, team of horses and the dogs, which if you're a timber dog is a spike thing that holds uh, logs in place. So this is actually a saddle dog for my sawhorses. Giddy up, uh, works out pretty well, held it up, wedged it. You saw that in the video. Uh, milling here, in case this is your first time catching a a video of me milling there's a whole bunch of them in here this will drop into it but on the timber frame side using a 661 with a 36 inch mill and a cannon super bar and then i also have a 461 using the small bill and that has a 20 inch bar on 
having both mills was really sweet on this project because of the 461 70 cc's had more than enough power to tear through uh this white pine uh the, so fabulous worked out well all right the other thing is i don't know what the other thing is the other reason i'm like trying to get maximize every single board foot out of those boards is here's what i have left of my white pine we've got a couple pieces here and then these smaller pieces here and i still need to get 160 to 170 uh board feet of the one by we have one more tree that's probably going to be day 13 maybe 14 with ben's help getting the other log out of the wedding in the woods out there to do the 20 foot three by fives and it, there should be enough wood but i want to maximize everything here all right uh i think that's it for day three of day 12 of build your own timber frame thanks so much for following along subscribe to the channel hit that bell um i'll put a playlist at the end here and in the description so if you figured it out that it is day 12 and i think i said it whenever we started this video um there's days one through 11 to catch up on the build go ahead and watch those things and then you'll be ready to catch us on the next one thanks so much and happy day to you